All right, Antelope 2020. So this year I got married, and at my wedding I actually completely tore my MCL and torn and folded my meniscus. So on Monday uh, I have to go in for surgery. So unfortunately I'm going to be missing pretty much all my big game hunts this year, uh, which, you know, sucks because it's what you look forward to all year. So just bad timing on the injury. Um, but I am looking forward to antelope season. Um, <laughs> with my crutches I was able to hobble out there last week. I put my ground blind up, got my trail camera up. We have a couple of pretty good bucks coming into the, the watering hole there. Um, and I'll show you some of those trail camera pictures. Uh, our target buck, his name is George. I named him George because he's curious. He uh, actually showed up to the water hole the first time 30 minutes after I put the ground blind up. Normally it takes antelope, you know, a week at least to get used to a blind before they start coming in regularly. This guy's been coming in every day, including the 30 minutes after I set the blind up. Um, obviously it's not going to be easy to hunt without the use of my leg. Um, but you know, we'll figure it out. I'm just coming to check my camera and make sure my blind is still here after the windstorm we got the other night. As I was pulling in, you can see him running now, but there's a group of antelope out there. Kind of forced with this decision to whether I'd go spook them out and check my camera or not. They're basically sitting right on where my blind is. So unfortunately, I got to push some antelope out of here in order to go check my camera. And it's only, it's Thursday now, season's open Saturday. So it's only a few days away. Not an ideal situation, but at least they're in here. Honestly, not as bad as I thought. Good thing I tied down that one rope towards the prevailing wind side. Right there. That's the only thing that saved it from blowing away. I'll get this sucker popped back up and check the camera. Morning number one of archery antelope season. It's the opener. Danny came with me. She's helping out since I'm a, a crippled person this year. And today we're gonna go sit in a ground blind I have out over a, a little cattle tank and it is 96 degrees all day. So we're gonna just be in the sweat box all day and hopefully one of the bucks that we have on camera comes in. Under the knife. 
Going out to the blind uh, for sit number two. We're gonna try to sit all day or as long as we can. On Monday, I had MCL and meniscus surgery. This is about seven days later, so I'm finally feeling good enough where I can endure this bumpy road and get out to the blind. Uh, looking forward to it. Got Danny with me again today, so it should be fun. Such a cool bot. Look at that. They definitely like this in the morning. 
He didn't know he was alive for ten seconds. Maybe. Did you see where it came out of him? No. Perfect. I saw the blood spot and yep. it was a lot of blood. Yeah. So I knew it was good. Alright. Knee break. And we're done. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> oh my god. He came in beautifully. You saw him again. You see him every time. I, I, I looked behind my shoulder and I said, Danny, Danny looks at me and she goes, <laughs> I think that's George. I do. Meat in the freezer, babe. That's right. Meat in the freezer. Yes, 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 yes. You want to go out and grab the truck? Yeah, should I? I can't wait to watch this footage. So normally I'd walk 70 yards to get this guy, but you know, so we're driving. <laughs> he is right up here. I believe that is George. I do I do? The sucker's coming from behind us? Yeah, so they were coming in from behind us. That's George. Nice buck. He's got all kinds of crap over there. Yeah. Heck yeah, Danny. Wow. Oh, he's a beaut. Look at him. Oh, yes. Look at that. Look at all these kickers he's got on the inside. Great mass. That's George. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What a beautiful animal. There's the entry hole. And the exit hole should be right about on the armpit. Oh, I love it, man. Look at these, these cheaters, these little kickers in here. Yes! So good. I'm, I'm excited to eat this thing. <laughs> Antelope is like literally my favorite meat. And we were out from last year, so. With me not being able to elk hunt or deer hunt this year, this guy's meat is much appreciated, that's for sure. All right, antelope is some of my favorite meat. Trick with it is normally when you shoot them, it's hot, so you gotta get them cold right away. What we're gonna do is get it up on the truck so I can gut it, or pull the guts out, leave them here. Coyotes will pick the guts up. Uh, and then we'll get them home and process them right away. We'll have them in the freezer within two hours. Uh, antelope is phenomenal meat. You just gotta, number one, don't run them. He made it 70 yards, died within 10 seconds. And we'll have them on, on, on a freezer, in a freezer within, you know, two hours. So that's a trick to good antelope meat. Um, you, you can stand up in the truck and I'll hand you the horns and you can grab the head and then I'll grab the back legs.
And that's a wrap.